What's up Raiders, Bionic here, and welcome to today's Raid Shadow Legends video where we are going to do another account showcase of a player that has, once again, reached Arbiter as 100% free to play. The one we just did two days ago was a five months free to play Arbiter with no legendaries used, okay? The account did have some legendaries. Uh, that person did do uh, the fusion of rosin right towards the end, but the rosin was not used as part of the progress to reach Arbiter. In this case, I do believe we do have one legendary, but this person has done it that much faster. We are on day 123, 124 ish, right? So he told me it was day 123. Uh, so as the other videos, we're going to dive into this account. We're going to look at the champions, look at the builds, masteries, if the skills are done or not. We're going to look at those dungeons we're going to try to do a run perhaps of one of the dungeons maybe the arena a little bit so that you guys can have once again another example of that uh basically that it is possible to get arbiter as a 100 free to play player without a ton of legendary champions okay so let's jump right in starting with the champions okay so we have an all time this is the legendary uh this is a crucial part of the puzzle right this is our decrease attack a1 champion but i see that he also has sepulcher sentinel but still this champion probably is better for that role uh, we do have some books in here we have uh some books in there as well this is really important to reduce the increased defense to a three turn cooldown okay and then uh, the passive does not require any so this is a, a legendary champion that does not require a lot of books but uh, it's a great one. One of the best ones also has the best aura, defense aura, which works really, really well in the Nightmare or the clan boss, basically any clan boss. So here are his masteries. Um, overall, pretty decent. We have some lifesteal. We have an uncommon uh, or common piece of gear. Perfect, man. I love it. This is, you know, it's what happens in the beginning. You do not have crazy gear. We do see one piece here, which is really, really, really nice. Uh, but then again, like I said, this is well balanced. I, I like it. Okay, so Sepulcher Sentinel also decreased attack A1. Perhaps he's running two of them in the clan boss. I mean, why not? You're just increasing your chances of placing the decreased attack, which is probably one of the most important debuffs in the game. We also have another increased defense. This one's on, this one, sorry, is on a four turn cooldown, but it also has the block debuffs. So if you can alternate between these two, you can basically have always this 60% increased defense up. And of course, this passive right here, which is really nice because it blocks all the damage. Here are the masteries and then the skull crusher, right? Okay, so he got the counter attack. Now I know this is probably the equivalent of a legendary, but he told me that he pulled this two weeks ago. Okay, so it's not like he used the skull crusher early on to progress in the game. He got lucky towards the end. That's all right. But then again, this whole game revolves around getting lucky and getting the right champions so we have a uh, life steal and then two off pieces another six star defense percent gloves this is really nice uh he got lucky on this as well i must say because this has taken me a very long time for me to get these kinds of uh pieces on my account the skills are not done on this guy except for this one that's all you want right so he got lucky one book boom right on the on the right skill the mastery is not even completely done perhaps he's still working on it right now we do have an ultimate gaelic this is perfect i assume maybe he got it with the free program amazon but then again did we have that less than 120 days ago I'm not too sure anymore but anyway uh this is your hp burn champion right so this is really important if you do not have a lot of enemy max hp skills uh, all you need is the increased attack unless you get him to buff himself. But as you can see, he did not book him. I had to book mine for this to work. So uh, I'm eager to see. I'm eager to see how he made it work for the spider dungeon. So we'll see that in a little bit. We have a miscreated monster, uh, another top tier epic champion. This guy with his shield buff and the stun, uh, as well as having a decent multiplier on this, right? We covered this not too long ago, is a really good champion to have, okay? So all the books are put into this guy, yep. And here are the masteries with Helm Smasher, I like it. So perhaps a bigger shield. Then we have a Catacomb Counselor. This is your ally uh, joins attack, right? So uh, not a lot of champions in the game have this, but uh, it's really effective perhaps on the spider as well. Also good in the arena if you can get this going with a lot of uh, AoE attack A1 uh, champions, right? So we do have all the books done here and here are the masteries. And then we've got a Royal Guard. That's another really, really good pull for the dungeons. Uh, good stats, very good stats overall. Wow, I like this. 
for a very young account this is nice then we've got all of the books all the skills done sorry and then here are the masteries we've got the high cartoon uh guys this is your best speed turn meter increase champion uh which is free early on so definitely use her okay she is really good i think she's good all the way into the end game as we can see here pretty decent amount of speed are all the skills done nope all you want is this one perfect uh in the beginning right and then here are the masteries so we have this is war master which means he was probably or maybe still is using this champion in the um faction wars right uh, not faction words sorry clan boss okay keep going let's go we've got the bellower in a stun set of course this is probably the best way to build this champion right now um because it adds so much cc to all your dungeon runs it's awesome eventually you're just going to want to uh, increase this speed here up to perhaps 200 plus maybe 215 if you can uh, and, and he will be that much more effective in dungeons okay all the skills are done this is a rare usually pretty easy typical stun uh build setup you want to increase the chance of placing it with this mastery right here then we've got a cold heart with uh what is this this is flawless execution all the skills are probably done yes we've got some speed lots of accuracy you want that for that turn meter decrease to land right uh really important and then we've got some pretty solid stats man once again just the right amount of hp uh probably what an hp chess yeah this is the way to go man so very well built you can see that he did his homework okay so if anything i look at these champions and they're very well built for a young account then we've got the war maiden of course another Another very accessible champion this is our decrease aoe uh defense 60 percent on a three turn cooldown 100 success rate really really important really good we've got some speed some accuracy really good stats overall well just enough basically for the dungeons just the right amount of speed for now and then the mastery is right here probably was used in the clan boss in the beginning so really good did not change the masteries at this point because probably not that useful maybe he still uses her we'll see okay we'll get to that and then we've got a frozen banshee one of the best poisoners in the game so again really picking the best rares the best epics to work with so good job i'm really really impressed by this you guys are learning very well from the youtubers from all the reddit posts and whatnot so good people are doing their homework this is what you need to do all right we've got all the skills done on this champion we've got a typical uh, masteries build for this then we've got the kale which, which was probably used before maybe still is we'll see in a little bit but all the skills are done so i assume this was the starter champion masteries with the war master so was used against the clan boss we do have an apothecary of course every uh, account that has an apothecary is usually doing pretty well early on so this is our dedicated healer increase speed turn meter increase and here are the masteries with giant slayer so again this was used at some point against the clan boss uh we've got a spirit host so he did bring her all the way up to 60. i'm uh, not sure how that helped in the beginning but now i think i'm starting to see that he's kind of starting to take her apart because she's not that useful anymore but this is your increased attack to work with the ultimate gaelic for that hp burn okay so that's maybe why he did uh build her this way but uh here are the skills all done yes and then here are the masteries nothing done basically because it's not that important all right and then the rest of the champions uh this looks like basically yeah just maybe food or working on some of the epics wow look at all this food ready to go very nice and then the vault real quick what do we have we have another cold heart nice but he did not use two so that's always very impressive we do have a seeker that's always nice golden reaper gala long braids this is nice we have another decrease attack champion we have the seer to go for speed runs eventually very good we've got the allure uh to increase that fire knight performance right because i think he told me he has a very low success rate on the fire knight but he has that allure that he can work on okay so then the rest is basically just copies right so getting ready for all those fusions very good very nice nice roster once again but only one legendary use for his progress all right now looking at the campaign real quick we want to see hard is done of course it is has to be brutal it is done nightmare we did not touch it as well very good that's not the priority uh dungeons i assume all of these are going pretty well minute 30 that's good what about the force which is today's minute 43 that's good enough uh ice golem okay so ice golem he told me this is roughly if i'm not mistaken a 75 percent success rate 
3 minutes and 39 seconds. This is actually really good. Uh, so we've got the all town right to keep us alive, decrease uh, attack. So on the ice golem, it is really, really important that you bring the decreased attack, especially if you're not going to go the poison route. Okay, so notice here that he's going for basically just raw damage. We've got the decreased defense, then we've got the uh, AoE enemy max HP. We've got our sustainability or our kind of like our tanker, which is the miscreated monster, which does a lot to add survivability to your team. We've got the speed increase, heal, and then the decrease attack with the alt. All right, so this is really good, very tanky, uh, well built. Again, using the champions at your disposal, perfect. Well played, sir. Then we've got the spider dungeon, a minute 30. Wow, this is really nice. So uh, no, we're not even using the um, ultimate Gaelic. We are using speed, nice. Um, we're also going for decreased defense. Once again, miscreated monster, which, which is such a good champion to use. Use basically in almost all the dungeons right now. Our nuker once again, and then the other nuker. Very good. Well played once again, reusing your champions. Let's keep going. We've got the dragon, which he told me is basically at a 100% success rate, okay? With a pretty decent time, three minutes, and that's really good. We've got our poisoner, miscreated monster, decreased defense again. We've got the uh, apothecary and our royal guard. And then here's the one that he had the most trouble with, but that skull crusher. Uh, made possible okay so as you can see like towards the end he got lucky got the right pull and then it all fell into place and now here he is with his arbiter so he is using the counter attack method but once again reusing all of the same champions right uh you have to do that in the in the beginning you cannot gear all the different champions that you have in your roster you have to pick the right ones invest books in them put your best gear on them and max out that gear max out the masteries well played once again very nice and this is on a five minutes and 37 which is the best time that he's had so far okay let's keep going we've got the next part faction wars um yeah a couple of stars i mean then again this is not your priority so whatever you're able to do right you can see that a lot of them he just doesn't have enough champions but that's all right like I said, it is not the priority. So in gold tier four, that's all right. Um, so he told me that it's a little bit harder for him to uh, perform well in here. So maybe eventually he's going to work on this a little bit more. Uh, maybe he can use his Kale as a ded dedicated nuker and just go for a typical nuker build. Um, but then again, you do not have a good lead yet. Then now that he has Arbiter, he's going to redesign all of this. So I have no doubt that he's going to increase his performance quite well. But anyway, I suppose what we could do real quick here, um, looking at the battles, of course, we are going to go for some of the easy battles as much as possible. Uh, so we're not that speedy. And let's try to fight a champion that has the same leader as we do relatively the same power right we'll see if he gets to go first with the aoe uh fear we might be in trouble but hey let's give this a shot all right all right what can we do with this team let's increase the speed of this okay we're going first this is good are we going to manage to get our miscreated monster to go before the enemy team let's give this a shot decrease defense first yes all right, Altan. Now, if he kills an enemy with this skill, we're going to get the shield on all allies. So let's try to take out dum, 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 her because she's weak. Boom. Thank you. Shield. Good. And now we're going to go with the AoE from Miscreated Monster. That's it. All right. We can let this go on auto probably. Wow, we got taken out right there. Uh, let's see. Are we gonna we're gonna suffer the the faith of being taken down by a single tar uh, or a single mashald? I've seen that before, but no, our Altan hits really really hard, so we're good. Okay, so um once again reusing your champions, right? Like you see that all these champions are being used in his dungeons, so he's not trying to create a dedicated team for his arena. He's literally just using the same champions uh, to get the work done. Once again, a very well played, sir. And now let's look at the clan boss. Uh, so where is he? I wow, I forgot his name for a second there. Sorry, guys. Caramello. Okay, sorry. I should have remembered that. And then let's look at his. Wow. So he's number one, basically. He is using the ally joint attack, really good, as well as using the um, counter attack. 
but look at this damage man guys this is really really good we do have increased defense increased defense decrease attack decrease attack okay so this alone right here will allow us to survive for a very long time we've got a really good poisoner the ally joining attacks and then we've got the counter attack so overall this is a very good build um and like i said he got lucky with these two pulls not sure if the sepulcher sentinel was during the rotos fusion which might have been but uh, good job on getting that champion as well okay so now let's do a uh dungeon run right we want to see this in action we're gonna let this go on auto uh dragon stage 20 here we go all right let's put this full auto let's see what happens decrease defense the big aoe hit from miscreated monster we got a couple of stunts in perfect now we're going to start working on all these champions frozen banshee is going to be doing most of the work on the boss right so um i'm impressed again guys that more and more players are managing to reach arbiter faster and faster and faster Yes, they're pulling the right champions to do it, okay? I get that point. You guys will say, you know, this is not feasible once again, even though it's not a lot of legendaries. He got lucky and pulled the right champions. But what you see here is that people are learning. They're, they're way more effective at gearing their champions. They know what to focus on. They're using the right main stats on the chess piece, let's say, for Cold Heart. Like, I know that when I started building my Cold Heart last year, I was using attack chess. She was super weak. She was dying all the time. Like, we did not have that knowledge. Now, we do. And I like to think that us YouTubers are providing you guys with more and more examples, more and more ways to build your champions, more and more more builds for end game content so when you guys are starting out and if you do your homework like I keep saying and you watch these videos you go on the forums whatever you go on our discord servers and you learn from all this you're going to be way more effective you're going to be saving money if you're paying uh, to play this game right and I think that's really important because this is a game that is very time um, uh, hungry basically it requires a lot of our personal time to do this and if you're going to be wasting a lot of that time doing a lot of mistakes you're going to pay for it in the long run and if you're paying money like i said then you're going to be wasting that money okay so uh this is a pretty decent build overall like i said reusing all the right champions our miscreated monster there taking a big hit with the what was it the ally protection perfect that's what he's built for and then our apothecary is going to keep him in the game with that big heal okay so um i love it i wish I had a miscreated monster but then again he was released in what late October last year I still have not had the chance to pull this champion probably wouldn't need it on my account but he's still a very very nice champion to have overall in fact if I do get him I'm still going to build him because he's probably best in slot for faction wars all right so there we go in two minutes 15 seconds that was his best run not sure if it's because of the uh, PC performance but here there you have it the best run so far on dragon 20 with perhaps a decent uh, piece so we're gonna keep that okay let's keep going which I guess the last thing to check real quick would be the great hall right what did he do in the great hall nice okay so once again the accuracy and the right accuracy why do i say this because this is your starter champion and you're going to be using kale kale who's also going to be your poisoner so this will go a very long way to increase your clan boss performance early on then he got a frozen banshee okay so also works for his frozen banshee also increase the defense also working for his miscreated monster the royal guard to some degree right because royal guard also has decreased defense and a turn meter reduction so um well done okay when i started out it was all into attack because i just wanted to deal more damage and then he started working on the rest of the accuracy so um i think he was telling me that his arena performance was suffering a little bit but now that he's got arbiter this is going to change all right guys so there you have it another perfect example that it is possible to get this arbiter as quickly as possible if you know what you're doing yes again i'll say it again and i'll keep saying many times after this it does require some decent champions to pull this off but keep saving your shards use them during two times events and you will get there okay don't not uh also underestimate some of the rares in the game they are very useful all the way into the end game okay so thank you so much for watching today and as always i will catch you later